Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So this is going to be the OFM gaming chair. Uh, this is a different model than I unboxed last time. This one is the ESS 3083 BLU, setting for blue color, noted by that dot there. Uh, this does feature a little bit different design than the other one that I unboxed and that I am using currently. By the way, stay tuned for a full review on the other chair in just a bit. So this chair does feature a little bit different design. As you can see here, uh, it has a little headrest and then the back support is actually a little bit flatter. The one I'm currently using has a little bit more of a lower arch support. Uh, so I'm hoping that this one's gonna be a little bit more comfortable and uh, a little bit more generic feeling. And then it does have a nice big bolstering pad here up on the front. So it does have a nice, very seated and planted type of design. And then as you can see here, the armrests are actually stationary. They don't fold up like on the other model. So that might be a good or a bad thing, but we'll go ahead and check it out. I think the base itself is looking the same as far as the design goes, especially with the, the wheels and the five star design, the uh, actual pneumatic feature there. And um, yeah, uh, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing and I'll show you how to put it together right now. All right, so starting with the tape here, it says do not use a box cutter. I'm gonna go and actually use one, but as you can see here, it's adjustable. So I can do it all like that, but for this box, I'm actually gonna do it on the very lowest setting because if you cut right into this, you'll cut right into your fabric or your chair. And of course you don't want that. Not only that, this is a very dull blade anyways. So all is good there. This is actually a really nice touch. I didn't know it had this, but very nice, probably fake leather, but it's very, very soft and smooth. And as you can see there, it is a little bit padded, which is gonna be very nice. Looks like it has the same type of bolt pattern or design as the other chair. So yeah, this is gonna be the left side. And here is the right side. It's gonna be your uh, screw pack there. And of course your five wheels. Looks like the wrapping got a little bit undone there, but no scratches, so we are all good. This of course is your base plate for the five wheels. So this is here is your seat cushion. A little basic instruction manual like last time. Here is the seat cushion. Now that blue is actually really, really nice. I like that vibrancy of it. It's a little bit shimmery as well with the light reflecting off of it. There's that nice bolstering on the, uh, the fore area. And then this is the, uh, the back area as well. Very, very nice cushioning as well. I like the fabric and the, uh, the fake leather design as well. Again, very, very similar attachment points as the other chair. There it is. So there's something else in here, which is probably the, uh, the pneumatic bottom. There it is right there. You can lock it or pull it out and then it will recline. This is to adjust the uh, reclining tension if you want it firm or very, uh, very light. All right, and here is a close-up look of the seat cushion. This is a really, really nice design. I like this a lot, a lot more than my, uh, my other chairs as well. It's a little bit smaller, but Again, that design is very, very nice. As you can see there, that arch, it seems very subtle, not as dramatic as the other one. And I really, really like the headrest as well. It sticks out just enough, and I think this is gonna be a very, very comfortable chair. Um, everything so far seems very high quality. Nice hard back, it is a little bit padded. And um, yeah, some nice stitching all around. Everything looks clean and good to go. I don't see any issues with any of the stitching or uh, any tears or anything like that. So let's go ahead and put this thing together and see what we're dealing with. So again, five of these wheels, pretty smooth wheels, and then they of course rotate and everything like that, basic stuff. These just snap right in and it has a little bit of a compression ring to hold it in, uh, in place. No tools needed for these. Pretty simple to install. Actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, and these five wheels literally just snap right into place. And one thing to note is on my other chair, these made more of an audible click. These just kind of sit right into place and just kind of sit in there, right into the channel. Yeah, there are these like a groove or anything like that that clicks into place, it just 
gets pushed in all the way and uh, that's basically it. And there are your wheels, very, very smooth and nice. Take your pneumatic support and it sits right in there just like that and then once you sit in it, it'll actually compress deep into that socket there. Okay, I'm actually gonna do this process a little bit different than last time. So let me go get my screws ready to go. All right, I'm briefly showing you the screws. So it comes with eight armrest screws and then four mechanical screws. There are a couple spare parts. These are just the caps that cover up the screw holes and then you do have an Allen wrench there. So let's go ahead and actually install the armrests onto the uh, cushion here. One thing to note is all 12 of these screws are the exact same size. Um, it does say eight for the armrest and then four for the mechanical, but they're all the same. I'll set this up right like this. I'm gonna try to uh, use some body English here and hold it together. And hopefully the holes on this line up, not like my last one where I actually had to drill out uh, one of the holes just because the alignment was quite a bit off. Set it down just like that. And uh, you wanna hand tighten them first just to get them seated in threads. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as uh, not really leverage, but just to uh, get uh, somewhat of a grip on there just because they are recessed. And man, these are not threading in very well. I'm gonna back them off and see where I can see that uh, so that indentation will drop in. Nice and tight. There you go. I've got the seat back installed and now I'm just tightening up these uh, upper screws. One thing that I forgot about my last video is that uh, I was supposed to leave these, uh, these four screws on the seat cushion loose just to get this on there and make it a little bit easier. So now I'm gonna go ahead and re-tighten these four on the bottom. All right, and just like last time, there is a sticker noting the front of the chair. And then again, there is a arrow noting the front of the bracket here. Go ahead and line that up with the four screw holes. Pop in your screws. Start hand threading them in. And then there is the mounting plate all mounted up and good to go. Let's go ahead and set this on top of the base and we are done. And here is the chair. There's the back of it. There's the profile. And then the front. All right, the fit and finish of this chair, everything is really, really high quality. Again, I really love the surfaces. All the fabrics and the textures are just like perfect. They're like key. Um, very nice design. I think that blue, again, is just popping. I just love that vibrant blue. It's kind of like a deep royal blue, almost a little bit hint of purple, which is awesome. And it shines ever so slightly against that lighting there. Uh, again, this pleather is very nice feeling, almost like a luxury car would be, like a Beamer or something like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's solid. There isn't any wobbling or creaking or anything like that. And then if you see in my install video, I'm sure you've noticed that I did have some problems with, I think about maybe three or four of the uh, threads were a little bit maybe off-centered or just kinked a little bit where it was hard for me to just get uh, a nice grab point for it to thread it properly and not cross thread. So if you do get this chair, just make sure to uh, take your time with it. Don't cross thread the uh, screws and you'll be good to go. Um, everything else went, uh, went together accordingly, smooth and um, yeah, no issues. 
So let's go ahead and sit in the chair and I'm gonna go ahead and give you my feedback on how it feels and the comfortability and then just the sizing overall. So here we go. All right. All right, so first impressions, this thing is definitely comfortable. Again, solid, rolls smoothly. I do have the lever here on the right side. Uh, push it in to lock it in place. As you can see, it doesn't recline. It does have maybe about like an inch of movement. So it's not like a complete 100% lockout. If you did want to lock it out, you would have to do something like mechanically here, like install a bolt or something just to lock it in place and to have like a zero movement. So again, with it locked in, it is gonna move ever so slightly, but it's not much. But I'm sure that you know some people do not want any rocking whatsoever. So again, you're gonna to have to mod it a little bit, pulling it out, and you do have that rocking motion. And uh, yeah, this is pretty good. And then of course I can adjust it, so if I loosen it up. Yeah, that's a lot easier, and it's, um, yeah, it has a stop. As you can see there, it stops you from going all the way back and falling over. <laughs> but other than that, it's, uh, it's really cool. The armrests are a little bit low for my taste, but um, yeah, this is, again, a smaller chair. My other own OFM gaming chair is a lot bigger. I'm seated all the way in the back, and I have quite a bit of room before my caps hit. So again, this is a little bit smaller chair, so if you're a smaller person or a little kid, um, this is probably going to fit you a little bit better. As you can see, the headrest is way too low for me to even be able to use it. So again, if you're like a little kid, um, this is going to be uh, a nice chair for you. If you don't really care for a headrest, this is more than comfortable. Like It's supporting my back pretty nicely. There is a little bit of bolstering here on the left and the right sides that uh, can kind of hug you a little bit, kind of like a sports car would. Um, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, I mean, I really can't say anything about this. Again, I do love that padding right here in the front. Kind of conforms your body, the way your legs sit, your rear end here, uh, nice and supported. And it's very, very plush and firm at the same time. And then, yeah, nice and soft on the outer edges as well. And your legs just kind of conform right around this. It's kind of nice. Um, as you can see here, the fit and finish is good, but it's not perfectly aligned with the upper and lower pieces. This blue area is pushed to the right, probably by about half an inch. And that's uh, actually the seat cushion that's off center. This upper area is uh, looks good to go to me. I really love the stitching here that's kind of diagonal, uh, maybe like a 45 degree angle. It looks really cool. Um, headrest looks really cool. Uh, this little opening is again awesome. It has that racer feel to it. And, uh, and yeah, there's the back. Again, I really love the added attention to detail here with the stitching here and bolstering. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any uh, other defects or anything like that other than that. So let's go ahead and see how high and how low this goes. So I'm guessing, so it did go a little bit lower, but this is the lowest setting here goes up pretty dang high. I can swing my legs here. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. Um, by the way, I am 5'7", so this is how it fits someone that's 5'7". If you're maybe about like 5 foot even, this would fit you even better. If you're probably any taller than 5'8", I'd probably say do not get this. As you can see, I'm like borderline like too big for this. Um, but it is comfortable for, you know, just gaming or general office use as well. Again, you're not going to be able to use that headrest if you're as tall as me or taller. So keep that in mind. But I mean, width wise, it's fitting me pretty good. I am a pretty slim guy, but uh, yeah, there is a little bit of room here. So again, if you're a bigger guy or if you're taller than like five foot eight, probably look at the other one that I did review and uh, boxing of and the build video of. That one is uh, quite a bit bigger and I am able to use that headrest. But I am liking the back support here on this one a little bit better. Uh, both are comfortable. I do like the armrests on this one a little bit better as well. The, uh, the surface is nice and smooth. It's soft and pliable. On my other chair, the, uh, the fabric was a little bit kind of scratchy and it really, really aggravates the forearm area. Uh, luckily, I don't use it too much. I actually have them pulled up because I'm scooted up on my desk. I use my, uh, my forearm on my mouse. I'm more of a kind of a full arm player rather than a wrist movement player. So I'm using my desk anyways, but yeah, if you want to use your armrests, these are really nice. So design, I give it a, a 10 out of 10. I think it's looking pretty, pretty stellar, pretty awesome. 
Um, again, sizing, this is more on the smaller scale. If you're a smaller dude or a female or a child, teenager, whatever, <laughs> this is gonna be pretty nice for you, but you might outgrow it eventually. Uh, yeah, other than that, I really can't say anything about it. I mean, I, I give this a 10 out of 10 for what it is, you know. Uh, just keep in mind that it is a smaller sized chair. It's not one of those that has a full on headrest with a pillow and everything like that. Um, but yeah, this will definitely fit you if you're like a little kid, maybe about five foot or under. Uh, you'll be able to use this headrest, no problem. Um, yeah, as far as the height range goes, um, again, this is pretty nice. Again, if this is for a smaller kid, I think it should go a little bit lower, personally. I mean, I'm actually liking this height. It's like I can plant my feet uh, completely flat on this lowest height, and it's just fine. Maybe a little bit higher, and yeah, it's just, that's just pushing it right there. Alright guys, so that sums up my video of this OFM gaming chair. Again, this is the ESS 3083BLU, standing for blue. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this footage. Hopefully I uh, helped you along the way of uh, putting it together and actually the review and the purchase of this chair. This is one of my nephew, which is why I purchased it. I knew going into it beforehand that it was a little bit smaller. So, And he's a smaller dude, turning 10, so it's going to fit him just fine and it's going to be to be able to grow with it for a little bit for you know several years at least and um yeah this is going to be an awesome chair for him hopefully he enjoys it i'm going to go ahead and wrap it right now and uh, give it to him tomorrow so thanks for watching if you have any comments or questions on this chair hit me up in the comment section below and i will see you guys on the next time subscribe like and comment as usual and i will see you guys on the next video peace